Some years ago I had a science fiction short story published in Fantasy and Science Fiction magazine about telepathy using cell phone chips that were embedded in the larynx and ear so you could just talk to your friend without anything in your hands. Uh, the reason this could work in my story, but it's based on some reality, is that when we think in our thoughts, it's possible to detect electrical signals in the larynx, and that's the vocal cords. And it's also true that there are signals in the muscles that control the tongue and lips. This is something called premotor. Uh, so what's happening is that the brain is sort of like warming up the muscles for what's about to happen if you actually were to speak. This trick of holding one's tongue on the roof of the mouth. I learned from a friend who taught me some Qigong, which is a traditional Chinese practice. And according to that practice, what this does, the tongue does, is it, I guess it liberates energy or something. I don't know, but I don't buy that. I think there's a scientific explanation for what can go on, and it has to do with facial feedback. You may have heard that when you put on a happy face, when you smile, you actually feel better. There is feedback between the brain and the face. So when you are happy, it shows on the face, and when your face is in the position of a true smile, not a fake smile, which is only the lips, but a true smile, which also involves the eyes, you actually feel happier. So there's evidence that there is loop between the brain, the vocal cords, the lip, and the tongue in order to produce speech. There is very likely feedback from the vocal cords, lip, and tongue to the brain. It's also known that when you have inner speech, just that voice inside your head, there are micro movements of the larynx and I believe the tongue as well so that if one were to immobilize that, that is, immobilize the tongue, such as when you place it against the roof of the mouth, by immobilizing the tongue, you interfere a bit with this loop that produces inner speech. So that is the basis for how this peanut butter trick, as I call it, can help reduce inner speech, and quiet the mind.